Hello, this is Mrs. Groves, and today I'm going to create this video for you on reviewing Chapter 5 so you can be ready for your test. So find your handout that says Chapter 5 More Practice. And we're going to go through these problems. I will do a problem and then I'm going to stop and I want you to stop the video. I want you to do the problem and then I want you to come back and look at the answer. All right. Before we start, I would like to make sure that you know the key concepts for this chapter. You need to know slope-intercept, which is y equals mx plus b. And the slope, there's no x with the slope. The slope is equal to m, and the y-intercept is equal to b. So you have to memorize this. The next thing you need to memorize is point slope, which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And here we have the slope again, m. So the slope is equal to m. But now we have a point. We have an ordered pair x1, y1. Two other things that you need to know is, well, how do we find slope? So if you are given a graph, the easiest way to find slope is rise over run. And it's always good when you're thinking about slope if it's a positive slope, your line goes like this. Positive slope, your line goes like this. If it's a negative slope, your line goes like that. If you're given two points, here we have m equals y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So you need to memorize these and know how to use them. On this test, you're also going to need to know that parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have negative, but it might be easier for you to just say opposite the slopes are going to, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative, and they're going, the fractions are going to be reciprocals. Right. You'll also need to know how to um, graph these. Okay. Um, and when I mean graphing them, I mean you need to graph point slope and slope intercept equations. You're not going to have to know how to graph the parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So let's get started. And so here, make sure that you read the instructions carefully. So it says write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line that's described. So our goal is to come up with the slope intercept, which looking at your bottom of the paper, it's y equals mx plus b. Well, to get there, we need to know what the slope is, and we need to put it into point slope. So we want, okay, and the point that we're going to be using is 2 comma 5. This is the slope 
of the line that we want to now have an equation for a line that's perpendicular to it. So the perpendicular slope, it's not negative, it's positive. And so you flip the fraction, 1 over 5 becomes 5. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So that's great. We have that information. So now it's very easy to put it into point slope. Y minus 5. Oops. Y minus Y1. So this is Y1. And this is X1. Y minus Y1. Okay. Y minus 5 equals the slope is 5 x minus 2. All right. So notice that this is the x coordinate matches up with this. This is the y coordinate matches up with this. And the ordered pair and what it's in the, the equation, they are opposite signs. So now all we have to do is a little algebra to get this into slope intercept. So here, y minus 5, and we're going to distribute the 5 on the right-hand side first, equals 5x, 5 times x, 5 times negative 2, minus 10. Now we've got to get the y by itself, so we add 5, we add 5, and we get y equals 5x minus Five. That is our answer. All right. And if they ask you for the y-intercept, the y-intercept is b equals negative five. So now what I'd like you to do is pause the video, do the next problem, and when you're ready, then come back and restart it. So I hope you had pretty good luck with doing this problem. So here we have our point. This one is perpendicular, so we need the perpendicular slope. This is negative, so it's going to be positive. Three-fifths, the reciprocal is 5 over 3. So now we're going to put it into point slope. y minus y1, 3, equals 5 thirds x minus x1. Okay. And so now we have to distribute, and if you're not good with fractions, then feel free to use a calculator. Okay, this is not going to be a test of your arithmetic skills. So we're going to distribute this y minus 3 equals 5 thirds x. I multiply these two numbers. All right, it's going to become a negative. The threes cancel out. Okay, and now I add 3. I add 3. Okay, and so my slope intercept equation is y equals 5 thirds x minus 2. All right. I'm going to stop right here, take a break for myself, and I will be back in a few minutes.